All right, y'all, we're gonna do a little catfishing today. We're gonna run up the river and uh, start picking spots on the channel drop-off. Probably gonna fish more deep, deep water, but I'm gonna still look for structure on the bottom like I always do. Okay, I thought I charged my camcorder and apparently the other end of the cord wasn't plugged in, so it's about to die. We're gonna just roll with the GoPro from here on out, but I'll be using cut bluegill maybe throw a live one on there and we got fresh chicken breast I had to shoot a rooster today that kept attacking everybody so got some very fresh chicken breast for bait and i'll probably just throw that on the jugs and then put bluegill on the rod and reel we're sitting right on top of the hump so i'm gonna drop this one pretty much straight down bottom kind of comes up and down quite a bit along this stretch of the bank so a little shallower but it's good structure we're gonna put two lines over there let her sink down head is the best part uh, bird nest that's great Something on that middle rod there. I'm not sure if it's bumping downstream. Maybe the current picked it up. We got a towboat coming up. It's gonna make it rough here in a minute. The Hardy's gonna throw some jugs out. I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes or so, and if I don't get any more bites, try another spot. Give about five more minutes, and we're pulling our lines and heading downstream. Gonna throw some of these jugs out. So we got chicken breast from a rooster that was causing problems on the farm and so i took 22 out and uh, made catfish bait out of them but we're gonna put these strips of chicken breast on the jug lines i'm gonna throw them on that side nope. Alright, that's 10 jugs, all with fresh chicken breast. We're gonna head downstream and drop anchor somewhere else and put these bluegill lines back out. There you go. You gonna keep him? You can have him. That's you eating size. Let me take a picture too. Hey, I'll get a picture. It don't look like it's gonna rain more than this. No, it's like one cloud. All right, I just came over a big hump where it went between 33 and 26 foot. We're gonna turn around and come back over that hump and drop anchor. Hardy's up there throwing some jugs. Um, he's got a few out. I've got 10 jugs up there. I guess I'll just wait for him to catch up. Throw this one. About lost my balance there. Out in the channel. So we got a fuel barge coming by. I don't know if that's current. That's actually might be a that might be a fish on this one. Oh yeah, that is a fish. Okay, cool. Well, I'm retying here. Yep, I think he's on there. He hasn't pulled too hard yet, but I he hasn't let up either. Yeah, let's reel down on him. Yeah, we got him. Dang, that was quick, like five minutes. Kind of feels like I'm hung on something. Mm -hmm. Let's give him some slack. Maybe he's behind a log or something. Oh, he came loose. Oh, there's no fish. You gotta be kidding me. I thought I had a good one. Here we got a fresh bluegill head. These reels just don't cast good like the ambassadors. You either got them turned down too tight 
they don't go anywhere or you got them too loose and they will bird's nest in a heartbeat and we got one more here to retie and then we're ready tie a snail knot on your circle hooks put the line in on the side facing the tip of the hook that way when the line pulls on it it pulls that hook point upwards and the circle hook can do its job because you don't set the hook on these you let you pretty much just let the fish take it and it hooks itself here seven or eight wraps i'm gonna bite this end and pull it tight and there we got it nice and snug the harder you pull the harder it bites onto the hook so that knot's not going to slip We'll put a piece of cut bait on, clean the scales off, make sure you got plenty of hook point exposed so the fish can actually get hooked easily. That's actually real shallow, but maybe we'll catch an eating size fish. We got one on this line. I think I just, I just pulled the hook out of his mouth, didn't I? My drag's too loose. Well, that gum it. I had a fish on there. There, one of the shallow rods is getting a fish. I think he's on there now. Oh, my drag's loose on this one too. Mm-hmm. Dang, that's a decent fish in the shallow water. I wouldn't say he's huge, but bigger than I expected to catch up that shallow. Well, he's wanting to stay down. It's a decent fish. Flathead. Maybe eight pounds or so. I'm not gonna weigh this one. All right, cut him on the middle section of a bluegill. You can tell he's been he's been spawned already. He's got some scars to him. Been fighting. Been on the bed. We're post spawn here, so the fish are actually biting now. There he is. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna let him go. I want to keep some small fillet size fish if I catch any. That's why I got the jugs out. Hardy's going down to drop anchor right behind my boat. He, well, he caught the first fish on the jug, but as far as dropping anchor, I think he'll be in a good spot if he comes right around behind me here and drops anchor. All right, I got all the all the lines pulled up. These two broke off. The ones in the deep water, they were hung up. I had to break them off. I'm gonna check my jugs, and then we're gonna go head on downstream and drop anchor somewhere else. All right, here's the first one. Oh, it's got a fish on it. Little fiddler channel. Oh, he's hooked bad. <laughs> I got a throat hook. You know what? I actually unhooked him really good. I was going to keep him, but I got him unhooked really good. He's tiny. We're going to let him go. We got two jugs tied together here. Um, yeah, we got to turn around. good one there he is good blue cat oh there's not much of this twine left I'm about to lose this fish this jug's out of commission until I get new string on it there we go chicken breast we're gonna keep this one if it'll fit if he'll fit in the cooler. 
All right. We got a fish on this one. Actually, we got two here. We're going for this one first. Another fiddler cat. All right, well, I got the hook out, but he's kind of bleeding, so we'll throw him in the cooler. Another eater channel, another small one, but in the cooler. All right, so we got six with bait, three that need new bait, and one that needs new line that I'm not gonna fish with the rest of the day. We'll go down and see what Hardy's up to, and we're gonna probably head on downstream and uh, drop anchor again. I'll probably throw these jugs out again. Got one on there. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect eating size. I'll put it, you can have them when we get back to the ramp. I'll put them in my cooler. I didn't even think about that, dude. Would you mind? Yeah, no, you can take whatever you want. I'll skin it when I get to the house. Oh, he, dude, he hit that one in between the time I checked that one and the last one. Really? Did you pull them already? Yeah, I got all 10 of them. Yeah, that black rod, I, it's getting it's getting messed with for sure. You just let them eat it until they're just eight? Yeah, with the circle hooks anyway. But especially with flatheads, they they like to play with their food. If I go and go to set the hook too quick, you just pull the bait right out of their mouth. Once they're hooked, they're just hooked? Yeah, once they're hooked, that rod will bend over. That's when you reel down on them. Yeah. Getting a hit on this one again. I think there's a little fish just messing with it. Feels like something's on there, but it doesn't feel like a fish. Oh, it is a fish. I got a little one, I think. I think. Oh, it's a baby flathead. He was probably on there the whole time. Is that a keeper? Um, yeah, barely. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping him the way I hooked him. You got some belly meat on him. I'm gonna start pulling my lines in and uh, go pull my jugs, and then I'll probably want to anchor up down there at the creek mouth. Yeah, he's got a fish on this jug. The barge is about to go right past it, but he's got a fish on that jug. He's all wrapped up. Hey, but the hook's not even in it. He's not in him? No. The hook is literally right there. You hooked him like a guard. Yeah. What do you think he weighs? I don't know, 15? It's a good fish. Does he keep or probably turn him loose? That's up to you. No, How big do you want to keep him? I'll turn him loose. You want to get a good picture? 
Can you get yeah. one with your phone? Yeah, I'll get some pictures here. All right, I'll see you down there. I'm gonna go check mine. Okay, this is interesting. This is one of my jugs, it's got my number on it. There's a piece of a hot dog on this thing. There's no hot dogs on my boat, and there's no hot dogs on Hardy's boat. Somebody picked this up and put a hot dog on it. Um, I gotta get out of the way of these barges here. They're doing something. How did that happen? I was gonna go right here, but we could go to Hobo Rock. No, let's do it. I'll do yeah. this, and then and then my jug was probably 100 yards past it, and the, huh. uh, it had the bluegill head on it, and it the not it had the line broken, so I have no idea. Oh dang! At the at the hook. Hey, you don't have any hot dogs, do you? No, not on me. Somebody put a hot dog on one of my hooks. I pulled a jug up with a piece of a hot dog on it. Are you serious? Yeah, and I'm missing two. I've got. I'm missing a jug. I'm missing. I'm, I'm, missing, a, I'm uh, missing three. I'm missing three jugs. I can't find. Somebody's been up here running my jugs, and they put a hot dog on one of them. We hadn't even seen a boat. No, they must have come up in here while we were up there, and run my jugs. But everything else had bait on it except one had a hot dog on it. Somebody's been. <laughs> I don't know. I'm missing three. Just noticed my gauge is completely on empty. We'll fill this up a little bit before I go anywhere else. We're here at Hobo Rock, so it's not like I have to go anywhere right now, but put some gas in it. You want another bluegill? I think I'm good actually. I think I got I think I got enough. Alright. It might rain on us. Yes, we're getting rained on. Just heard a turkey gobble over there twice. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm heading in. I'm yeah. cold and wet. Yeah, me too. I hated it for you. I, dude, I need to bring a damn umbrella. All right, man. All right, be safe, brother. Enjoyed it, man. You too. We'll do this again. Dude, I hit a freaking rock over there pulling out. There must be one underwater. Yeah, there's some. Well, there's a stump underwater there. Oh, that must be what it was. It hit it hard. It killed my motor. All right, be safe. See you, man.